What's happening YouTube? It is Sean from GMDRS TV and today I'm farting around with a van again. I am going to improve upon this crate. I keep this crate under my back seat and it's just there because it's easily accessible and has kind of all the stuff I might need if I'm doing just a short day trip or just a solo fishing trip and I don't want to get out my big kitchen and also was very handy last year when I got snowed in overnight. Uh, so in there is, you know, coffee cups, a little pot, some pint glasses, fuel, really critical items like a coffee frother and sugar cubes. But in general, with this little thing, I can make some ramen, I can make some coffee uh, and all that sort of thing. And in the right circumstances, that can be remarkably handy. I also carry this little butane stove on top. And with that set up, I can do a lot of things. I bought this crate, which is already kind of a fancy overpriced doodad from a company called Sidio Crate because it was just the right size. And overall, it's been okay, but I have two major problems with it. One of them is, it's a crate. So it has these holes in the side. And I frequently travel with my dog, and he sheds insanely. So I'll go to get something out of here, and it's covered in dog hair, which is a huge buzzkill. Secondly, this thing is a bitch to open. It is so fucking hard to open. It can be frustrating. Like, I bent my fingernails kind of off trying to open this stupid thing. And thirdly, it is hard. Uh, the material is hard and it rattles like crazy. And I've tried packing my coffee cups and pots a hundred different ways. And no matter how hard I snug them in here, it jingles. So what's next? I got this thing. This is an equally overpriced uh, crate from a company called Radius Outfitters. This is also designed specifically to fit under a van seat and it is soft sided so it theoretically dampens sound considerably. So I want to open this thing up, put it together and see if we can have all these essential things, have them be easier to get to and not rattle like mad and also not covered in dog hair. So let's pop this sucker open. This crate is sort of the medium one in their size line. They have a taller one, but it won't fit under. They have a smaller one that's just a whole different class. You want to get it with this fid lock. Otherwise, it's too wide to fit underneath. All right, let's see what's in here. All right, this is a pretty simple device. Basically got four soft sides, and these uh, hard corners basically slide down over the corner to hold them together. It should take one second. I put my Sidio crate inside just so you can see. And there is probably three inches all the way around, which is going to be uh, a meaningful uh, addition to storage. I'm, I'm stoked. All right. Uh, significant improvement number two. This is very easy to open. You literally just whoosh, it's on a hinge which is very nice the hinge is really just a, a piece of velcro that runs along this edge but the box also has velcro on all the corners to keep it secure when it's down so as far as keeping burley's amazing amount of shed out of the box this should should be a big improvement so not so porous and it's actually easy to open instead of being maddening. Cool. Okay, so dumb things that are meaningful to weird people like me. This uh, wine opener, and yeah, you gotta have one of those in the van. Used to fall out of this hole all the time and it made me crazy. Now, it like has a home in the side of this pocket. Not rattling around out of the box not shooting out of the hole, and just so good. All right, so I took everything that was inside my Sidio crate and put it into this Radius Outfitter one, and it all fit. But what's really crazy is my stove that used to be in this case 
on top of my Sidio crate also fits inside. So that extra perimeter area turns into a significant amount of volume. And I couldn't be more excited that I don't have a thing on top of a thing. And the stove used to get the same jingly nonsense intrusion of dog hair, etc. So I am stoked. Plus, there is a ton more room on top here. So I've always wanted to have room for maybe like a couple things of ramen, maybe even a couple bottles of water or whatever, just in case they do get snowed in again, because that was a fun adventure, but it could have been uh, significantly worse. Anyways, I want to load up some more things and see how it fits in the van. Well, good morning. I spent some time uh, last night uh, organizing the new box. And I have to say, the ease of opening, the decent seal, uh, all of these things are very appealing. But what's most surprising is just how much more this holds than my Sidio crate, which was definitely smaller, but not that much smaller. My Sidio crate was absolutely full and couldn't put anything else in it. Once I got this loaded, I realized I had a ton more space and put in more things that will be so handy. So let's go through it. I have these butane things that were in my old box, but here I've got sugar and real half and half. I've got coffee, tea, filters, ramen, water, my stove that used to be in a separate box is underneath all of this. Then I've got some plastic cutlery. I've got a real knife and fork in there in case I want to cook a steak on the little barbecue that I always have on board. Have some oatmeal. I have some sugary treats to go with my coffee. I have some bourbon to go with my coffee. And I have, this is like a little saucepan and a tea kettle, shot glasses, drip two insulated cups, pint glasses, a scrubber, and I even have a little wooden stirring thing. And then this is all assembled. I can put this in there and then put one real plate on top and close it. And that's not even it. This has these amazing external pockets. So on the front here, I have a pocket knife, some pens, and on the back, I have my wine opener and various party favors because it's kind of fun to party in the woods. Uh, I couldn't be happier. But what's also crazy uh, is how nicely it fits in the pan. Let's go have a look. You can see the box fits absolutely perfectly under the seat. I have it on top of my uh, flat pack barbecue to help keep it quiet as well as it jingles a bit. And overall, it looks fantastic. So I just did some driving on some local roads that are really rough. And that would have in the past triggered just an insane assortment of rattles coming from my old Sidio crate setup, and I am happy to report this Radius Outfitters box was silent. So I have achieved kind of all my goals and more. Way more dog hair proof, way more easy to open, much better organization, absolutely silent, and I had way more space for some extra things. And just in general, it's all more organized. Things that used to be rattling around up here, like pens and other things are now tucked away in pockets on the outside where they're easy to get. It's just a massive improvement. This thing is stupidly overpriced at $200-ish, but so was the Sidio crate at like 70 bucks and it accomplished none of the goals. So I am super happy to be ditching the Sidio crate, having this instead one box instead of two it even looks really nice it's just 
one of those things where you have to just suck it up and pay the price and then be happy afterwards uh, that you did. So that's it for this. I do have some other sort of organizational rattle chasing projects coming up. I'll have those out soon. If you like what you saw, maybe think about a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe. Otherwise, just hang out. And thanks, as always, for watching. See you next time.